Hi everybody, Anthony Navarro, Colorado Shooting Sports. I'd like to talk today about NFA or Class 3 weapons. What the heck are those? <laughs> well, they include things like machine guns, silencers, short barrel rifle, short barrel shotguns, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, uh, a myriad of different things. And you might be asking yourself, well, what do you have to have to get one of these? And it's actually very simple. You just have to be 21. You have to have a clean record, no felonies, and you have to pay a $200 tax stamp. So if you know any friends out there that have these kind of weapons and they tell you that they have a class three license, that, that's actually not true. What they have is an NFA stamp. And quite literally, it looks like a stamp you'd find on an envelope. So um, let's get right into it. Why would you want something like that, you know? And to be honest, the main reason is investments and fun. So for example, when I was in college, a MP5 machine gun cost $3,800. Now they're worth $38,000. And we're talking about something that you shoot thousands and thousands of rounds through, you beat it up, and you literally sell it for more than what you got it for. So let's start off with talking about normal weapons, normal, uh, normal types of guns. So let's just grab a normal AK here. This is a standard semi-automatic AK-47. Um, normal length barrel and we'll kind of show you that you can have a shorter barrel but as long as you do stuff to it to take the overall length permanently out to 16.1 that you don't have to get a stamp so this is an example of our gunfighter series AKs we actually build these in house and the main thing you'll notice is the different the, the the distance between the front sight post and the gas tube that kind of starts to crawl up is shorter in our G series because we actually remove some barrel, move this whole thing back, and we find that there's an optimal barrel length for ARs and a, uh, M16s and AK47s, AK74s. So this you can you can uh, buy and walk out in five minutes. So not a problem. Same thing with our gunfighter AKs. And the main thing about this is it has a lot of our upgrades like our AK Lightning lever. Uh, AK lightning bolt. Uh, it's got optics, quad rails, uh, a brake system, tritium sights, and uh, a, a, a larger grip. And this one in particular actually has a folding stock. So it gets pretty tiny for storage or carrying. So then we get right into the nitty gritty of short barrel rifles. I think these are one of the most functional things you can get right alongside a short barrel shotgun or a suppressor. So let's talk about shotguns first. So this is a, for lack of a better word, Hollywood terminology would be a sawed off shotgun, but it's technically is a short barrel shotgun. And as you can see, this thing is really tiny, which makes it very maneuverable and an awesome, perfect gun for home defense vehicle, uh, because a longer barrel is gonna be harder to uh, you know, navigate the terrain. So I really, really like these. However, I had to wait about a year to get the stamp approved. Ooh, there's the actual stamp right there. It's a Xerox copy of it. And uh, once I had that done, I was ready to go. But there's some really neat options available for you because the laws have changed a little bit. So technically, this is the same length barrel as the one I just showed you. Everything about it two years ago, and this would have been a sawed off shotgun, short barrel shotgun. You would have had to go through all the paperwork, $200 stamp, all the whole shebang. But they've changed the terminology with one thing. This is not a stock, it's a brace. That's it, literally one word, brace, makes this, uh, it's not a short barrel shotgun, it's not a pistol, it is considered a firearm, that generic term of firearm. But with this one, exact same ballistic performance, everything's the same as the one I got that took almost a year to, to get paperwork for. But this one, you can walk out in about five minutes. So awesome, awesome choice right now going on. We got a couple of those in stock. This right here is also a short barrel shotgun. I know it looks like an AK-47 because technically it's a sawed off AK-47 in, in 12 gauge. Now, the neat thing I like about this guy is that it has a five round magazine, which is essentially the same amount of shots as the one, two shotguns that I showed you. But you take that magazine out and you put in a 10 round magazine 
And this is a whole lot of stopping power in a very tiny package. They, they even sell 20 round, 30 round drums. This is one of my favorite guns. If you watch our Facebook video, our YouTube videos, I kick off 11 shots in under two seconds with a 12 gauge, so it's very controllable. So awesome, awesome gun. This one's actually for sale. Comes with two 10 rounders and five five rounders. Fully tricked out. It's got our lightning lever, lightning bolt, optic, quad rail, brake system. This is actually very useful for blowing um, uh, doorknobs off. So uh, folding stock, lots of cool upgrades on this guy. Next up, uh, this is probably one of the funnest guns I have ever owned. And we're actually selling this one and it's, uh, it comes with eight 30 round magazines. It's got our literally the original, the prototype left side charging system, our AK lightning bolt. It's got our lightning lever. It's been completely ceramic recoded because it's probably one of the most photographed AKs that I can think of. It's, it's in a ton of magazines and ton of videos. And this thing is absolutely fun to shoot. It is extremely controllable super tiny to to, uh, to store, really a perfect vehicle or personal defense weapon. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Boom, this is an AKS-74U, and it's kind of most famous because behind Osama bin Laden in most of his videos, he has one of these, but with a 45 round magazine. So hopefully when they smoke that dude, they kept that gun. Next up, the exact same as the one I just showed you, the, uh, but this one is in uh, the standard Russian caliber of 762 by 39. The one I just showed you was a 545 by 39. Same thing, lightning bolt, lightning lever, an awesome uh, Bulgarian four-piece brake design, comes with a bunch of magazines. This one is also a side folder. Smash, hit that button, bow. $200 tax stamp, and this thing is an awesome personal defense weapon. Can't say enough about these. Uh, this particular one in 762 by 39 is a, this would be a perfect gun to put a silencer on, a suppressor, and still keep it at a very short overall length. So this also comes with a bunch of magazines as well. So let's talk a little bit about service. So when I got my first class three weapon, uh, the guy gave me some paperwork and some verbal instructions and I spent the next six months stumbling around trying to figure out where to go for pictures, where to go for fingerprints, how do I fill out the paperwork. I did it wrong a bunch of times and then a year and a half later got my first um, class three or NFA item. What do we do that makes us stand out from everybody else out there? We provide you all the paperwork, we tell you exactly where to go. We kind of give you a, a map of where to go, what to do, and when you bring all that back to us, we start that process we order the product and then we send it off to the government, uh, which the NFA branch in uh, Virginia then starts to work on it, or I like to say it sits in a pile for months and then they start to work on it. Which brings me to the, the one and only thing that's frustrating about it is the timeline. Once we send all that stuff off to the feds, we are completely out of the loop. We have no control over how long it takes for you to get your NFA item. So I have, I think nine of these things, you know, suppressors and short barrel rifle, short barrel shotguns. And the fastest one took 14 days. I couldn't even believe it. The longest one took a year and a half, okay? So that show goes to show you that, that we don't have any control over that. And it is a frustrating thing. However, at the end of the day, when you get your short barrel rifle, short barrel shotgun, your suppressor, your machine gun, whatever the case might be, uh, the cool guy factor, if you want to call it that, or just the uniqueness factor of it, you can't really put a price tag on that because when you go to the range, no matter how cool a gun is that somebody has, and you pop out a suppressor or a really awesome looking short barrel rifle like uh, like that crank right there, it, it's just fun. You know that's why people buy certain cars and certain jewelry and certain clothes is that they're getting what they want. So. If you would like to look at getting an NFA class three weapon through us or looking at a suppressor or short barrel rifle or even the ones that we have for sale here, let me know and myself or Mark will help run you through that process. It is a lot of fun to own these things. And the nice thing is once you fired it and you've owned it for years and years and fired it, uh, 
you're probably gonna make a lot more money on it than you actually spent. Not a whole lot of products out there that you can actually do that with. So if class three or NFA items interest you, give us a call here at Colorado Shooting Sports at 970-395-0664 and we'll be happy to help you out. Have a great day.